Azure Bastion just keeps on getting better. In today's video, we'll walk through one of the most requested features for Bastion, graphical session recording. You start your Bastion session like normal and notice there is no record button, no save feature, it just works. These recordings are stored here in a storage account so you can save them or here in the Bastion blade, you can go to session recordings and view them. I bet you're wondering, how do I set this up and how much it's going to cost? Well, let me show you. In the Azure portal, let's create a new resource. So let's search up here for Bastions. Click on create, then select your subscription and resource group. Give your Bastion a name, select appropriate region and under tier, make sure you select premium. There are some other new features that are coming soon to premium. So click the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of them. Next, you're going to pick your instance count and you're going to select your virtual network. For the subnet, your Azure subnet must be named Azure Bastion subnet and must be at least a slash 26. And as always, create a public IP address. Click on advanced and under the Bastion features, make sure you select session recording. Add your tags as always and click on review and create. Now let's take a look at your new Bastion resource. And under settings, click on configuration. Make sure that the tier is selected to premium and the feature session recording is enabled. Oh, and by the way, if you're using any of the other Bastion tiers, you can just click on premium to start using these features right away. Just remember that once you upgrade, you cannot downgrade. Now we're going to need a storage account to hold all your recordings and you can use an existing one if you'd like. First, we scroll down all the way to the left and click on resource sharing. For resource sharing, for the allowed methods, make sure you select all eight of the methods. And for the max age for one day, it's actually 86,400. And these are in seconds. Now we're going to create a token that allows Bastion service to securely use this container. You're going to click on the three dots and you're going to create an access policy. You're going to add a policy, give it a name. And for the permissions, make sure you click on read, add, create, write and list. Set start time to be at least 15 minutes before now. Now, how far in the future you set your expiration date is up to you, but the shorter you make it, the more times you're going to have to generate a new token. So talk to your security administrators to figure out what's right for you. Click on OK and click on Save. So under your containers, click on the three dots again and click on Generate SAS. Select the stored access policy dropdown and pick your Azure Bastion policy. This will set everything else for you. For the allowed protocols, make sure you click on HTTPS only and click on Generate SAS Token and URL. Copy the Blob SAS URL. Go back to your session recordings and click on Add or Update SAS URL, paste your URL and click on Upload. It is that simple. Once you have some recordings, here's how to view them. Just click on Session Recordings, click on the session you would like to watch. This new session recording will open up a new window, get some popcorn and enjoy the show. Just be aware, if your recording says it is updating, you will have to wait to view that session, but it shouldn't take that long. If you need to update your SAS URL because your policy expired, or you just want to roll over your storage account keys for better security, generate a new SAS just like we did before. Then click here to update. Paste your new SAS URL and click on upload. But be aware, updating SAS URL while a session is in progress can cause the recording to fail. And if for some reason you need to save future recordings to a different container, that means you will create a new container and a new SAS token. But that also means that Bastion will not be able to show you these old recordings. They will still be on your storage account, but the Bastion Blade can only see one container at a time as of today. There is a lot more on Bastion that you can learn about right over here. Happy learning.